QuickBooks Online 2024. QuickBooks Online desktop app. Get ready because we're moving on up with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file we set up in a prior presentation. After setting up the company file, the next step is generally to put down those foundational items necessary for the normal accounting process, the normal accounting cycle to function. Once those foundational items are set up, then we typically do data input forms with the plus button, the cycles within the cycles being the customer cycle or revenue cycle, the vendor cycle or expense cycle, the employee cycle or payroll cycle. And then we manage communication with the customers, vendors and employees in the centers on the left. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's OK, whatever because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our CPA six pack shirts, a must have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle, always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know, that CPA six pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six pack like shape, which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. A and yes, I know six pack isn't spelled right. But three letters is more efficient than four, so I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Sales center or customer center, expenses center or vendor center, payroll center or employee center. The foundational items that we're currently working on are in the cog up top. We've been looking under the your company settings. We took a look at all of the account and settings. We looked at the managing of the users. I want to jump down here this time to uh, get the desktop app. This is relatively new. I don't see many people looking at this at all. I haven't really used the desktop app for QuickBooks online but it looks quite nice and I think it could be something that is useful. So let's take a look at it now. First off, don't wanna get confused between the QuickBooks Online and the desktop version. These are two different things. The desktop version is the older version uh, of QuickBooks. It's still in effect. Looks like they're trying to phase out uh, the desktop version with regards to everything that's under enterprise, for example. And then Enterprise, the more advanced desktop version, looks like it's still safe at least for a while. But the online is a completely different thing, completely different look and feel. However, once we have the online system, when we're online, that of course means that normally we go into the web-based system, we access the QuickBooks or Intuit servers with a web application, and we navigate through the system in a web-based application, which means we need the internet access to do that. And, uh, and then we access it kind of like a web page. However, if we, if we download this one, then we might be able to access it from our desktop, although we still need internet connection. So this doesn't remove the need for internet connection. That's one of the pros and cons with the online softwares is that you have to have the internet. You can't work offline typically when you're using an online software, even if you download a desktop version that you can basically use on your desktop. That's kind of problematic sometimes, but on the, on the plus side, the fact that it's online all the time makes it more accessible to things like applications that you might be able to integrate within the software. So in any case, if we go into this desktop view, it says work the way you want with the QuickBooks online app. Number one, sign in and stay connected. We'll keep you signed in so you can get to work faster. 
So one benefit might be that if it's not on the website and it's on your desktop, then, then maybe you can stay signed in for a longer period of time considering you're not going on an actual uh, website. Although again, it's still connected to the website uh, th through the internet. So you still are gonna have like a sign in process at least initially and periodically you would think. So find common tasks faster, use the map view to get your daily tasks uh, quickly. Now this is really neat because it looks like they actually uh, heard some people after how many years has it been that they like the map view of the flowchart that I keep on going back to on the desktop version, which looks like this. This is quite nice. Even if you're experienced like me, I still kind of like looking at the flowchart from time to time. It helps me to visualize it. That's what I see in my mind when I'm thinking of the process. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Number three, work efficiently with multiple tabs. Flip between multiple tabs and companies with ease. Again, I like that. I'll take a look at that process in a second. So all you have to do is you download uh, if you're on Windows and then you download here on the Mac. So if, that, if you do that, then on your desktop, you get an icon that looks like this. It looks like a normal QuickBooks icon, except it's dark, uh, which is interesting. So a little bit of a switch there. But uh, if you go into it, this is it. Now, if you open this up, it looks basically like the normal uh, website uh, system. However, you can access, access it just from double clicking on that icon. And so you're not actually in a browser, which I, I think is a little bit nicer, actually. It still acts somewhat like it's in a browser. And so you can kind of see the similarities, but you can see it's a little bit different too, because if I go up top like here and try to right click, I can't open another tab and duplicate the tab like we did before, but I can hit the plus button and I can open up another tab that way, which kind of acts, acts like the same kind of system. If I close this out, if I go into my reports down here in this one, we still have the ability to go to the reports and we can right click on the reports and open in a new window or open in a new tab. So if I wanna open in a new tab, I can open a report just like we have been doing, having multiple tabs open up top. So we can still basically open up our reports to the right and then have our information uh, on the left in the similar fashion that we have had before. We can also right click and open in a new window, similar to what we have on the online system so that you can have two windows open uh, if you so choose as well. So I can pull that out. I can't really snap it back in place like we can with the online with an online system. So if I take this window right here, I can't really pull it out, right? I can't really pull it off like I can if it was an online system. I'm trying to left click on it and drag it out. But when I open a new tab, I can open it to a new window. So that's pretty uh, nice. It's pretty similar. Now you also have this toggle thing over here. So if I go back to like the dashboard, notice up top, you've got this desktop view toggle. So if I want to turn on the desktop view, I go boom. And then, then it gives me this flow chart. This is basically the same flow chart as this one here which is actually on their desktop version of the software. So, so and, and again, I think this, this flowchart is really nice, right? I, and, and the fact that they haven't standardized a flowchart like this in the online system, which I would think would be the most common thing to put in the desktop or, or, or your, your homepage area, just seems odd to me because it just seems like a, just a logical thing, a logical way to first look and organize and teach new users how to use the system. So now you got the vendor cycle, the customer cycle, the employee cycle. I'm still not totally confident. I'm probably still gonna jump over to this one when I talk about it because, because I think they'll probably change these icons because I don't think they can resist uh, to do that in an online web-based system with the, with the developers and whatnot. But I, 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 think, there, I think that's a nice, thing to do. This is just the logical first page that you would take a look at that would be on the dashboard. But also note in the desktop, they changed the, the left hand side to mirror what you might have been used to when using the desktop view. So this is something that's a little bit kind of strange because if you stop using the desktop view and you're in the online 
uh, system, now they basically have three kind of kind of tab names over here because if I go into the online now, I could I could say, okay, well, here's the normal view. Here's the accountant view. And then if I select the drop down, I can switch to the business view, which is basically the same now because they stopped doing their their other business view, which was quite different before, but it's still a little bit different. They haven't completely gotten rid of the business view yet. I think they're going to, they're going to consolidate those two. But if I go back on over to the accountant view, but then over here, this isn't the accountant view or the business view. They're using terminology that, that was used on the old desktop system, which means if I toggle back on over, uh, this is what we're used to in this course for the online. It looks like this dashboard transactions, sales instead of customers, expenses instead of vendors, uh, reports and payroll instead of employees projects and so on. If I switch to the desktop view, it's actually, uh, I, I think it actually makes more sense uh, to me, These are, but maybe that's just because I've used these longer, maybe with the desktop than the online, but you know, an income tracker, uh, the uh, expense tracker tool, and then the reports are still here. And then instead of sales, you have the customers instead of expenses, you have the vendors. And that makes more sense to me because I think of this area as the customer center and vendor center, because that's where I go to answer questions and manage things for a particular customer and vendor. And this is the employees instead of payroll, calling it sales expenses and payroll sounds less personal to me. If I'm going into here to answer a customer question to me, it seems like I'm going into the customer center to help me deal with my customers <laughs> instead of going into the sales center, which sounds like I'm not dealing with a human being or so, I mean, it just sounds, but in any case, uh, it's different though, but it's all this, it's all just like all of the tabs, uh, whenever they change something, they can change the name to whatever they want, but it's still the double entry accounting system. So everything basically works the same way. So you can toggle that on or off if you want. I'm going to toggle it back off and so it looks more like the normal quickbooks uh, online quickbooks online that is and then you also have your drop down over here so if i was to open multiple tabs for example there's possibly you can open up multiple company files so if you have a, if you have multiple company files you might go into the list up top and be able to open you know multiple multiple of these company files and that would be uh, nice, because when you're in the online system, sometimes it can be actually a little bit more difficult to go from one file to the other. Sometimes you might have to like log out of one file so that you can then go into the next file. I, I don't think it's quite as easy as just having a nice drop down and toggling back and forth between each of the company files. You also have this tab up top, which is an open windows tab. So if you're used to the desktop view, it used to show the open windows on a side panel over here. And I think that's still kind of nice, right? So I can toggle between these two tabs up top this way. So, so I, I, sometimes that's easier to see possibly than over here. And if you get the, 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 the names of the tabs are still not always useful because it just says get great guitars. If I, if I went into my reports and I opened up a profit and loss, in a new tab, it would be nice if this showed over here as basically a profit and loss report, the thing that is open. But, you know, it's nice that it at least has it in another tab and you can toggle between these two tabs and see an image up top of which report you want to be going to as you hover over it, which is a little bit better than, than the tabs up top here because you just have to memorize. That's why I always put the balance sheet and then the income statement because if I had like a bunch of tabs up top open, then I have to actually go do it, do it, do it, and go into each one of them to see which one is doing what. Whereas hovering over them over here might be a little bit faster uh, to be toggling between them. So like I say, I haven't used this a lot. Uh, it seems relatively new to me. I haven't seen a lot of people talk. I haven't seen anybody uh, talk about this, uh, but I like it. I, I like, I like, I think it looks nice. I think it's easier to open. You might be able to log in a little bit longer. You can switch to the desktop view, which if nothing else can bring you to that, 
uh, that home page that has a, a, a flow chart within it. So, which is a, a useful tool. You still need to be connected online in order to use uh, the desktop app. If I hold control down, by the way, and scroll in, it still does the zoom in just like it was a web page, but you can also do it this way and zoom in this way or use the plus and minus things to zoom in. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm liking it, uh, but uh, give it a shot. We'll, we'll be going through the course with the online uh, on an actual online uh, rather than the desktop app, because that's what the way most people will connect to it, I believe. Uh, still, but if you're working at a desktop all the time, you might want to check this one out.